After several attempts to escape, the walls of SCP-035's containment cell have suddenly begun secreting a black substance mixed with human blood. Personnel working near SCP-035's containment unit have suffered catastrophic morale damage, with an all-time high in suicide rates and staff in that area. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Keter Class Object, SCP-035. SCP-035, also known as the Possessive Mask, appears to be a white porcelain comedy mask, but at times, it will change to tragedy. When it changes, all existing visual records, such as photographs, video footage, even illustrations of SCP-035, will automatically change to reflect its new appearance. A highly corrosive and degenerative vicious liquid constantly seeps from the eye and mouth holes of SCP-035. Anything coming into contact with the liquid will slowly decay over a period of time, depending on the material, until it has decayed completely into a pool of the original contaminant. Glass seems to react the slowest to the effects of the item, hence the foundation uses glass to contain 035. The origin of the liquid is still unknown. It's only visible from the front and does not emerge or is even visible from the other side of the mask. An individual will experience a strong urge to put on 035 when making eye contact or is within one and a half to two meters from it. When 035 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate brainwave pattern from 035 will overlap that of the original host, effectively snuffing it out and causing brain death to the victim. Victim then claims to be the consciousness contained within SCP-035. The bodies of possessed victims will decay at a highly accelerated rate, eventually becoming little more than mummified corpses. SCP-035 has been found to be able to possess anything that has a humanoid shape. Nevertheless, 035 has demonstrated the ability to remain in cognitive control of a body experiencing severe structural damage even if the subject's body literally decays to the point where motion is not mechanically possible. But when placed on an animal's face, no such effect was found. SCP-035 was first found in a sealed crypt in an abandoned house in Venice in the 19th century. SCP Foundation found that communicating with SCP-035 is very much informative. Researchers have learned various details about other SCP objects and history in general, as 035 claims to have been at many momentous events. 035 displays a highly intelligent and charismatic personality, being both amiable and flattering to all those who speak with it. However, psychological analysis has discovered 035 to possess a highly manipulative nature, capable of forcing sudden and profound changes to interviewers' psychological state. SCP-035 has proven to be highly sadistic, prompting some to commit suicide and transforming others into near-mindless servants with linguistic persuasion alone. SCP-035 has stated that it has intimate knowledge of the workings of the human mind and implied that it could change anyone's views if given enough time. It has been determined that SCP-035 is capable of telepathy, whether or not it possesses a host. It will penetrate to the subconscious of the victim and using the knowledge it finds to its advantage. Hmm. Extreme caution is advised when choosing subjects to converse with SCP-035. SCP-035 has expressed its interest in other SCPs, most notably SCP-4715 and SCP-682. But a professor has expressed worry that if SCP-035 bond with either, their regenerative qualities would negate its corruption and give it a permanent host. However, 035 was put to a few tests by the Foundation to see how dangerous and vicious it would be. After 12 days of exposing SCP-151-D to 035, SCP-151-D was completely decomposed by 035. However, 12 hours later, this albino human child with a furred tail began to reform from SCP-035's excrement. Because personnel were barred from entering the chamber and thus could not terminate SCP-151-D before it reformed completely. In another test, a D-Class personnel wearing SCP-1131-J was assigned to SCP-035's containment chamber. SCP-1131-J is a tinfoil hat that can block cognito hazards when wrapped around the head. During the test, the personnel said he felt no compulsion to don 035, and this is when 035's smile altered into a frown. 
It has been concluded that SCP-035 became extremely uncooperative and pouty because it got defeated by a tinfoil hat. During containment, 035 has facilitated multiple escape attempts, convincing several of the research staff to aid in its bid for freedom. Fortunately, the insurrection failed, and after reviewing SCP-035's incident record, High Command has ordered that it had to be permanently sealed within the facility, and prohibited from being allowed any more hosts. Several personnel have protested this, with some even erupting into violence. As a direct result, all personnel that have come into contact with SCP-035 have been terminated. Going forward, all personnel that deal with SCP-035 are to be rotated frequently, and contact is to be limited, even to its dormant state as little as possible. After several attempts to escape, the walls of SCP-035's containment cell have suddenly begun secreting a black substance, mixed with human blood. This substance is corrosive, having a pH of 4.5, and prolonged exposure to the walls has proven to be detrimental to their structural integrity. More notably, it seems to be forming patterns on the walls. Several segments seem to be paragraphs in various languages, including Italian, Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit. Other segments appear to be diagrams depicting ritualistic sacrifice and mutilation. While the researchers were in the room examining these newly formed patterns, they have complained of hearing loud whispering and high-pitched, unnerving laughter at irregular intervals. Personnel in the section working daily near and around SCP-035's containment unit have suffered catastrophic morale damage, with an all-time high in suicide rates in staff in that area, whether or not they have ever had contact with SCP-035. The only change in SCP-035's dormant behavior is its glass case containment. Degradation of the case has increased to a high degree, enough so that the glass will occasionally shatter, causing a wide dispersal of SCP-035's containment. This will occur quite often at the most inopportune times, so far resulting in six casualties and three fatalities of the Foundation staff. In light of the mass suicide, homicide, and morale damage of the members in SCP-035 containment area and general loss of staff dealing with SCP-035 to either death or insanity, it has been decided to coat the inner and outer walls of its containment cell with SCP-148, which is the ability to block or hinder extrasensory mind-affecting properties of living organisms in proximity to it. The use of SCP-148 has worked well causing morale and suicide rates to return to near pre-SCP-035 rates. However, the material appears to facilitate the negativity within the cell, causing a vertible greenhouse effect inside. Personnel inside the cell have stated that they feel a heavy sense of dread, fear, anger, and general depression, as well as hearing constant, nearly inaudible whispering upon immediate entry. A prolonged stay causes severe migraines, suicidal tendencies, heavy hemorrhaging of blood vessels around the eyes and inside the mouth and nose, general hostility to others. The whispering will increase to almost deafening volume, intersected by a constant mocking laughter. Exposure of more than three hours will inevitably result in the subject falling into a deep psychosis and attempting to harm either themselves or others. Most of them begin to speak in Latin or Greek despite the fact that several did not previously know how to speak said languages beforehand. The presence of blood in both word and diagram formations around 035's containment has increased disproportionately, the walls becoming cluttered and the formations beginning to overlap each other. The substance has proven to be both difficult to clean and even more corrosive than was originally recorded. General estimation gives the current walls a life of two months before they will need replacement. It is becoming gradually more and more difficult to contain SCP-035. The walls, ceiling, and floor of SCP-035's containment cell have now been completely saturated in blood. Constant cleaning efforts are being instated. According to the latest addendum, the magnitude, intensity, and reoccurrence of the phenomena that occur within SCP-035's containment cell have increased to an alarming degree. The cell door has been known to become locked of its own accord while personnel are inside and unable to be opened for a long time. Appendages form out of the larger puddles of blood and often attempt to grab or harm personnel near them. Blurry apparitions have started appearing to staff. Electronic devices no longer work inside the cell, and the light cannot be turned on, forcing those entering to use non-electric-based light sources. Cleaning measures are having no discernible effect on the cell, 
and the walls are degrading at a very high rate, forcing them to be replaced within a week at best, hmm. although the blood makes it nearly impossible to properly achieve this. Foundation was forced to move 035 to a new cell entirely, with the old one sealed off and disengaged from the rest of the facility. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these incredibly sweet pieces of fan art. A big thank you to all of you. You can now send us your fan art, and we will be more than happy to show off your best art piece in our next video. Check out our description below on how to submit. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Which SCP do you want to see in the next video and why it is interesting? Let us know in the comment below. We will draw your story and share it with the world. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.